the player at home will you be crafting with us from player we Hello hope everyone. you have your materials Hi. How is everyone doing today? Yes, let us know in the comments Yes, as usual, there's no instructions And you're free to use the materials that you have at hand In any which way you wish If you can, try to include the material of the week Which is strings Yes, and we're going to look at the different kinds of strings That we all have Because even Hafiza and I have very, very different strings All together What sort of strings do you have? I have like this rainbow yarn sort of um, Should I material. pull out all the strings that I have? Why not? <laughs> I have them in a box. So. <gasps> okay, so this is the different kinds of strings. So if you guys don't have um, yarn like what uh, Hafiza has, there's also this, I think it's used for packaging. Uh, you can also use ribbons. I have a but shoelace. Oh yes, shoelaces as well. Yes, that's a good one. Oh, I have shoelaces here. Wait, I found one. Yeah, um, <laughs> I have a black shoelace. So I have a piece of twine. Mm, yeah, I have that too. And the rope. brown one. Oh, you have rope. Yeah, this rope have... feels very soft. Feels very soft, and you can feel the different textures on it. Ooh. Oh yeah, it has like a swirly pattern. Yep. Going like it's on. been twisted together. Oh, okay. Mine is okay. I have a ribbon that is also a little bit rough. This ribbon, this gold ribbon, you can see that it's it has a bit of texture that's on it, and it's very different from this other ribbon that I have, which is purple and it's smooth. Oh, it's really mm. thick. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> you can tell there's a different size mm. in the ribbon. Ooh. I have exactly the same one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Things that we find at home. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this this um, one, we also have. I have raffia string as well. Mm. If you guys have it at home, it comes in different colors. Also, if you don't have strings, what you can also do is for those who have watched our plastic bags episode, we actually made strips from plastic bags. So like these ones. So you can also use that as well. Okay. In this episode. Okay. So shall we get uh, started? Yes, I should probably clear all the strings <laughs> from my work desk first. In the meantime, maybe I and some of the kids can actually start to warm up. Okay? Yes. So let's try to warm up our fingers. We have not been um, crafting for some time. Maybe you craft every day, but today's a brand new day. So, oh, uh, hello, Kaylee. <laughs> hello. Okay. So stretch your fingers, wake them up. Yeah. You're ready to get creative. <laughs> oh, the purple one might be silk. Hmm. Yeah, I think you might be right because it's. Yeah, I don't know what material it is, so it could be silk. It could be silk. <laughs> okay. So we wonder what we can craft with today. Hmm. Hmm. Um. What can we come up with? Um. I think we can try doodling first. What do you think, Jimmy? Yeah. Hmm. Hafiza, do you remember what I did for the rubber bands episode? Oh yeah, I remember you, you, you dropped all the rubber bands down and then we we saw what shapes they they made and then you yeah. draw out from that. Yeah, something like that. Shall we try it with strings as well? Maybe we can take uh, some strands first because I know that some, some of your strings are really long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, maybe we can... I'm going to try with just one first. What about you? Uh, I'm just going to try with my shoelace first because it's very striking. Okay, do you want to go first? Sure. Uh, okay. For some of you, if you need help cutting the the string or yarn, um, just uh, if you need any help, you can always just ask from your mommy or daddy as well, okay? Yeah. So be careful if you're using a scissors. Okay. okay. So I'm just going to drop it. Yeah. Ooh. What does this mm. look like? Like the letter H to me. Is that it? Is it H for Hafiza? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why. <laughs> no, well, I think it looks like it looks like um someone is riding a horse. 
Ooh, how's that? Yes. So I can see that, um, so the part on the left is kind of like the horse's head. Or like, mm -hmm. I don't know, it looks like maybe he's riding a snake. Oh, I see it, like, I see it. Riding a snake, maybe. And then his, the person's hand is like up in the air. <laughs> this is the snake. Right? Yes. And this is someone saying like, yee <laughs> Yes. <laughs> maybe you can tame the snake. You can wear a okay, hat. I'm gonna try while well, Hafiza is drawing. You guys can also tell us like what do you think it looks like. It, it could look something else to you. You can show Actually, us. Actually, still it could yeah. look like a horse. Mm -hmm. Just not sure how to draw a horse. This can be my <laughs> special horse. Okay, while well, Hafiza is drawing her horse, I'm gonna try two different kinds of string, and I'm going to like roll them up first. So if we roll them up, you can hear like there's a. Oh, someone just said an angel. Hafiza. Oh, <laughs> Hafiza's cat is joining the live stream once again. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna throw this rolled up. It looks like a bird. Hmm. Oh. Maybe I can try okay, rotating let... the. The paper and, and see. My... Is... Ooh, yeah. I see it as a bird now. Maybe I'll use a different color. Okay, so I have thrown two types of string here. Wonder what does mine look like? Hafiza, could you maybe take a look at mine as well and see? Mm. It looks like a dragon. A dragon going into space. <gasps> yes. Oh no, I don't even know how to draw a dragon. Let me just add. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, if you guys don't have uh, paper, what you can also do is, I actually have a piece of plastic that I cut out. From you know those plastic folders, so actually you can put it over, and you can still see it, and you can draw it with markers, and you can erase it whenever, if you want to start a new drawing, or you can also add on. So this is what I'm gonna try and do. Okay, let me see. Ta-da! This is my version of a bird now. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Where is the bird going to? Ooh. Should I go to outer space with the, the dragon? <laughs> How does a dragon look like? Okay, a dragon has a lot of like um, scales, right? So I can't think of how a dragon looks like. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. My bird looks should... lonely, so I'm just gonna drop more strings around so that it has mm. a few more friends. Hmm, what could this be? Ooh. Mm. I see. I see a boat. A boat? Hmm. Yes, I see a boat. <gasps> oh, yes. Let's try rotating it again. Do we see anything else? Mm. I see. Ooh. Let me see. I think. Uh, hmm, Hafiza, what do you think it looks like? When I can't really say a boat, oh. it gave me the idea of a craft. But this craft is in space together with the bird. It's in space together it's with a the bird. Space craft. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what are they all doing in space? I wonder. Okay, I'm going to draw mine. Uh, so I need to remember how. Uh, dragon looks like. I know a dragon has oh okay. Let me push it back. No a dragon has an angry face. Well, which one do you see the angry face in? Is it the red shoelace or is it the green yarn? Okay, I have a lot of scales that are on the dragon. It's turning out to look like the fish that I did. Hi <laughs> everyone <laughs> So Hi for everyone. those of you who are just joining us, we are just now playing with strings and yarns. Mm -hmm. We're going to see what drawing we can... a dragon. Yeah. So what we did was that we are dropping down pieces of yarn and string and see what we can come up with it. What sort of doodle can you see from it? First, I saw a snake and then um, someone mentioned a bird and, and it inspired me to draw a very big bird over here with the eye and the beak. And after that, I dropped another piece of string and I saw 
a book. I'm drawing my dragon. Oh, your dragon looks really cool. I'm gonna draw. That. I love the scales. I. It's like a funky dragon, and <laughs> it looks like it's blowing up water. Could be water. <gasps> oh, it's a, it's a dragon, water dragon. Yes, here we are, water dragon. It does look like, I think because of the tail, it does look like it can swim, kind of like a mermaid. <laughs> so it could look like that. Okay, for those who are using like a plastic sheet, uh, what you can do is you can also use like nail polish remover and you can um, remove that from the from the plastic as well and you can just keep using this plastic. So this plastic is actually quite good. Okay, so... Okay, I'm going to try with um, paper so that I can rotate it. Like, what? Yeah, this I did earlier. Yeah. Hmm. So, what could this one be? This this black yarn. It looks like someone sitting down. Reading. What do you guys think? It looks like someone sitting down reading. Hmm. Oh, I see it! I see it. <laughs> it reminds me of those people who are like, uh, you know, um, where it's a really nice weather at Botanical Gardens, and you find someone who's <gasps> under the tree and yes. you're just relaxing and things like that. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna they're try on and a use an, they're on a sun chair. Yeah, I'm gonna use another kind of string, which is like the twine. So I'm gonna do okay. So I'm, earlier I kind of crunched everything up, right? This time I'm gonna turn it around my fingers and see what happens if I throw it down. And also I'm gonna use two so you guys can see the difference and what happens. So I have. Okay, let me twirl this one first. I'm going to use this. So this one is very smooth and it's very thick compared with this one, compared with the twine. So we're going to see the difference, what happens when we throw it down, okay? One, two, three. Oh, kind of got out of frame. Let me go ahead a bit. And I'm going to throw this down. So you can tell that this one kept its shape. So this one came out a little bit. So you can try with the various um, materials, different kind of strings that you have and see what happens once you throw them on the table, on your paper, because it's going to turn out different. Yeah. Okay. So what about mine? Let's see. What can I see from mine? Hafiza, do you have any idea what mine might look like? Yours looks like a medallion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But so that's too easy. It. That's too yeah. easy. Let's hmm. think a little further. If I turn it, okay, I'm going to hold this because it's, okay, if I turn it, what does it look like? Does it look like anything over here? This also looks like a little OG. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It looks sorry, yes. I'm so excited because it looks like a laser gun. It looks like Oh <laughs> Do you okay. see it? Do you see it? I see it, I see it. Yeah. So I'm gonna just complete it. So like this will be the handle. Oh kind of throw it. And a, a fish with a purple tail. Okay, I'm gonna throw the fish in a bit as well. Let me see. So we have this. This will be like a handle, you know, kinda of like when you press it. Mm -hmm. And we have, we have one more bit. Oh, kind of twisted it. And then we have this part, maybe a small bit, and it's shooting out lasers. <laughs> <laughs> it could be shooting out water as well. So, if I draw water droplets, what about chocolate? Oh yes. Or, or um, I'm thinking popcorn. <laughs> oh, yes, popcorn. That sounds very, very vicious right it's at like, the moment. It's like, remember if um, if you could still go to the cinemas or we can have it at home and yeah. um, you you have popcorn on demand. Oh. So you just <laughs> top it up with some corn and then you push the button and... <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very delicious right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can see where you're coming from. <laughs> it sounds like... Okay, so I think someone has commented that this one looks like... Hmm, how should I say this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> A fish uh, with purple tail. Yes. And also... Uh, okay, so this is someone sniffing this. And this could be... I'm not going to say it. I'm going to say it's like animal or human waste. <laughs> 
I don't know if I can say that word live. <laughs> but you guys can read in the comments. <laughs> okay, maybe I should try and draw a, the fish with the purple tail. Okay, so I'm just going to like slide it under. So if you kind of put the... So I guess if you have your strings on the paper, it's easy to rotate. But if you have it on the uh, plastic sheet, it's easier to remove mm. and kind of draw something over again. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to... Maybe this is the purple tail. But I feel like this fish has a very long... I think it has kind of like a... Ooh, okay, I will need to use the plastic to show you guys. I can use this corner. So Qingming, yeah. I used your idea of um, someone on a lounge chair <laughs> reading a book. Oh, yes. Yeah. And, and do you know what she's reading? What is she reading? She's reading uh, the book called The Invisible String. <laughs> oh, what's that book about, Fiza? Would you oh, like to tell us more? Yeah, it's actually about, um, you can actually find it on YouTube or you can even buy the book. But uh, the, the story is about how we are all connected through an invincible string. Hmm. That's very interesting. Do you remember who were the characters in the book? Um, I can't remember because it's been some time since I actually read it. But wow. I think okay. I'll just leave the, the name here in case anyone wants to um, check it out. Okay. Yeah, we'll post it um, on our... We'll post the name of the title of the book later as well. So I realised that if I add... Oh, you can't really see because the purple... Yeah, if I add an eye, it, I see it as a fish. There's someone say with a purple tail. And I see kind of like a, a crown that's on the fish. Like a hat. <laughs> so yeah. I really like this fish. I think it's really cool. Okay, so... Maybe instead of throwing, we can shape all these... You know... <laughs> okay, instead of throwing, we can also <laughs> shape the strings that we have. Okay, so instead of throwing... We can maybe like, hmm, can like put it like that, and I'll try another one. Maybe I'll try a, the raffia string. Okay, so this is really fun because you have like so many different kinds of strings, and you know they all react so differently. So some of them like if you put it like that, it's not gonna stay like that. <laughs> so okay, I might I'll cut this a bit shorter. Can we have a shorter string? Since the the twine is like pretty long. Okay. So yeah, I can just put it, place it randomly and uh, okay, what does this, oh, let me move it down. What does this look like to you guys? Whoa, it looks like, oh, I wonder, can you try rotating it? Oh, okay. It looks it... like a genie. Is that genie? Okay, okay let me slide genie. The, tape, the paper under it, hopefully not too, okay. Okay, so I got something like that. Let's see if I rotate it. Does it look like something else like that? <gasps> it looks like a light bulb. <gasps> An idea. Yeah. What could we do with an idea? If I turn <laughs> it like that. Oh, yes. It does look like a light bulb. So Hi I would Tej. draw a... How are you? It's been a while since we've seen you. So this could be a light bulb. Oh. You could, if we turn it again. Hmm. Oh, a about... guitar? A guitar? Do you see a guitar? Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clean my plastic sheet and I can draw over it. Okay, because there's now there's like a, a dragon and also a... Uh... <laughs> it's an idea. I want to a test tube. Oh, Ooh, I can see the test tube. I can see the test tube too. Oh, Hafiza, I see you have paint on the table. Yes, yeah, so what is I... Happening? Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking like maybe I can do more from it because I have done a few doodles already and it's given me the idea of using paint instead of just markers, right? So let's Ooh, try okay. seeing what we can do with the paint. Hmm, just take a piece of paper here. Which one should I use? Should I use um, a piece of twine which is more rough? Or should I use something like a yarn that's mm. very soft and actually quite um, 
stretchy to a certain extent. Why don't you try both? Oh, yeah. Then we can look at the difference as to, you know, when we use yarn mm -hmm. and when we use twine, which is a completely different texture, and see what's the difference in, like, the pattern and what it creates with paint as well and how it reacts. Sure. I think that would be very interesting to see. Okay, for those who are wondering, I'm using nail polish remover. This is also really old. I don't know how old it is. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to erase the... Um, ooh, I'm moving my... Yeah, just erasing my dragon so that I can draw over. So what I did is that I, I poured some paint into this... Uh, I think it used to be a dumpling uh, container. <laughs> <laughs> but then now it's, it's, it's turned into my palette. So I just dropped in some paint and I'm using a ice cream stick that I washed. And yeah. So I'm using the ice cream stick so that I won't have too much paint on my string. So I can just mm. like wipe it all across. So I'm not okay. using my fingers. Okay. Oops. So let's see. How shall okay. I spiral it? Maybe I can try spiraling it. Ooh. Like this. Yeah. Um, and then I'm, I, I think I'm going to fold it in half. Okay, let's see. Give it some pressure. You can use a book or you can even use your hands. I think I might use a book. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, let's see. Ooh, okay. So, whoa. <gasps> Oh, what does this look like? Ooh, are they? Do they look identical? There's a little bit of differences between them as mm. well, I think. Yeah, yeah, the kind of print like, thing. Like over here, you can see there is more uh, yellow strains of paint, and over here, mm -hmm. it's, it's a bit more uh, white. Like, Ooh, uh, uh, I have an idea uh, of what they look like. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just telling my cat not to come to my <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea of what it looks like. Oh, someone said it looks like a chicken. Ooh, chicken. Wait, give me a moment. Think... Give me a moment. How does it look like a chicken? Can you tell me? Oh, hello. Okay, sit. <laughs> sit. sit. Don't, don't oh, touch no. the pen. Don't touch the pen, please. Okay. Hmm. How does it look like a chicken? Let me see. The cat is give... currently under the picture, if anyone's wondering. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um, I see that it looks like a... Um, Ooh, like is two, an eye? two comets look, meeting each other in the sky, Ooh. in the galaxy. Oh, yes. Like two comets, kind of like they are flying through really fast. You know how like when, um, you know like how things fly very fast in space, there's like a, yep. a, a light trail. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, 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 so yes. So it looks right like, there. Someone said a tadpole as well. <laughs> I, see, I see it, I see it. Oh, maybe I can combine all the ideas together. Maybe I'll, I'll use your idea of using plastic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have a frame here. Wow. That Ooh, I've emptied out as well. Yep. So let's see. What Habiza's then? setup is more sophisticated than mine. Mine's just putting <laughs> the plastic over. Habiza has a stand and a... <laughs> This is what yeah. I just find all around my house. <laughs> I I'm a I, I think I'm a hoarder. <laughs> okay, I've done my light bulb. I'm just gonna like Continue with. If I just draw strings over. And yeah, this could be a guitar as well. If you just kind of draw the strings over. Mm. Okay, let's see. What can we see? Um, I have to look at say... my guitar at the back to see how to draw a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Let me find my marker. Okay, I have a guitar. <laughs> okay, well, guitar is okay. Okay, let's try. Ooh. A tadpole. <laughs> and a little eye. Where's my voice? <laughs> hey, we have a tap ball. <laughs> okay, well, Pisa is drawing her tap ball and hummingbirds. 
in the comments. I wanted to show you guys if you're playing with this drawing with uh, strings, you can also take um, a cardboard and cut out just a shape in it. Okay, any shape will do. Okay, and what I want you to do is I want you to just put it on top of, of one side of the string. So what you can only see is you can only see this side. And yeah, challenge yourself and you know, ask you just look at it and see what you can draw from this as well instead of a uh, instead of like looking at it from a very far angle. Maybe you can just focus at the corner, at the middle. And zooming in. Yeah, it's like just zooming in on one side because sometimes you don't know what it's like. So you can use a circle or mm -hmm. like Hafiza has made a frame. So you can also make a frame with um, your cardboard. I'm just using cardboard here as you can tell. <laughs> just reusing cardboard. Mm. Or you can use some paper. Yeah, you can use paper see. as well. Can we see anything? Ooh. Have you decided to remove the plastic frame so then we can see it better? Sure. Yeah. I just realized that putting it, putting this here looks like a <gasps> character. Yeah, it does. <laughs> the rope looks I'm like just... a smiley face. I thought uh, to me it looks like a nose. Oh yeah, yeah. So then, it does, like, it does that's well. the. Actually, if we we could even do this thing where we just draw in, kind of like hair around the circle. <laughs> it's do Someone so much said things. an egg just now, so I'm just gonna try yeah. and see if I can draw an egg. We can also do this. Mm. This is my egg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ooh, what about, getting... what about the hummingbird yeah. Some, and the comet? Ooh, okay, let's try. So I'm gonna Stop. see if I can. What else can I see with this? So I have some hair drawn. Maybe we can look at. There are there any other like faces that we can. And Ooh. hummingbird. How does a hummingbird look like? Mm. Hummingbird has eyes. Okay. Maybe a little that's... beak. <laughs> um, really, really quick wings. Ooh, <laughs> love the hummingbird. Or it could also be a chicken. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> someone's a hummingbird and chicken. A humming chicken. Humming chicken. A humming chicken. <laughs> <laughs> a humming chicken. So I can put. Oh, can't really see the. Oh, that's a rooster. <laughs> okay. And it's small. Okay, I'm gonna try and make a a frame with maybe like this piece of paper. I'm gonna cut out a frame and see what we can see from it instead. Let's see. Cut. So I'm just gonna fold it into half and just cut out like a frame from it. It doesn't have to be a square. I'm gonna make mine like. A small frame, well, not very small, but I'm just doing half the size. Okay. So if I open it up, maybe something like that. Maybe we can do a corner. Because so usually we look at it from like just the corner itself. How does it look like? Ooh, let me push everything up. Yeah. We have. Jimmy, I'm just going to try another color, okay? Yes. Um... Maybe. What color do you guys want? What color should we Any like? requests? So have you guys used I have yellow? I have yellow, blue, um, red, and green. I made from blue and yellow. Wow. I actually really like the green. If no one has... <laughs> <laughs> I would like to have the green instead. <laughs> green, please. Yes, green, please. Okay, so for mine, I have... I'll use my just... green yarn for the green pink. All right. Sharon very, says very green. green. Yay! Okay. We'll do green. Okay, I'm going to cover the rest of the strings. That you Is green see. your favourite colour, Jing Ling? Uh, it used to be when I was younger. Now I like a lot more other colours than green. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I made like a rectangle frame. And I've covered the other strings. So we then we just work with like one corner. Yeah. Hmm. So it's a little bit challenging. Jingming, what does green make you feel? 
it makes me feel it makes me feel peaceful because I think of like nature nature yeah like mm. with all the trees and everything I think that's pretty nice okay same here okay I'm just gonna fold it again give it a little okay. bit of pressure put my book on top and pull let's see what happens Ta-da. <gasps> Oh, oh! It looks like <laughs> it looks like um after you have eaten and your hands are dirty and you <laughs> it's like you do like a swipe. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> yeah, hmm. so it, it's like food it and like? everything there. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to put more colors onto it so that maybe I can draw something out from all the different colors all all done together. Oh, so it looks like a flower. Oh, yeah, it does. I can draw that out very quickly. Let's try. So what I'm using is a frame and a piece of a cardboard roll. You can use anything, but I'm just hmm. using this so that it props up. You can even use, um, like Ching Ming, she uses a, a file. It looks like a hand. Yeah. I see it. Let's try. So one can be a flower and one can be a hand. Let's see. We can even try rotating our paper so that we can see different things. Let's see. A hand and a flower. It also reminds me of something that I can't hmm, think of at the moment. You can put your finger on yeah. it. Later, what we'll do is maybe we should do some screenshots and we'll ask people to draw what they see as well. <laughs> okay, so I have, I have this frame. I kind of think of like, you know how vines, they start to come down from the roof and things like that. So I'm going to mm-hmm. draw some leaves. Thinking of the places that I've been to and there's like, you know, in the park and... You know, you can just sit under all these vines that are just above you and they give you a lot of shade. So maybe I can do like a... um, When you were describing it, it feels so peaceful. (laughs) (laughs) It's raining at my area. (laughs) Oh. Okay. So I'll do a little bench here. And a flower. Yeah. So then you can imagine yourself sitting under the vines. And yeah, that's what I would like to do now <laughs> to sit under all these greenery. <laughs> okay, I want to see if actually I've always wanted to try something with like mm-hmm. strings. Oh, I have one more idea that you guys can try out. So if you have these. Barbecue. Not this isn't really a barbecue grill because it's like a lot bigger. <laughs> um, it's a drying rack, right? maybe. Uh, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> I think I it just to... happened to be in your. Yeah, I but... use it to hang like jewelry and stuff. So what also you can do is ah. you can also do this like put it on top. So each square will give you like a different. So like for this square, you can only see oh, it covered. You can only see these two lines. So if you guys do this, you can draw like a different story in each square as well. Oh, it reminds me oh, yeah. of a comic. Yeah, like a comic strip. Maybe as well a comic strip. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so I've always wanted to try this thing where you see what you can do with when you tie different strings together. Ooh. So, of course, like... different bumps, right? Yeah, so you know how... Well, I mean, I braid my hair, so that's like one of the things that I would do mm-hmm. if I were to see if I I would usually put three strings together and I can like braid it together. Okay, let me I'm just. I'm very good at braiding. How do you braid? Okay, I will show it to you. <laughs> no, I've let always me... been trying to braid, but it doesn't look nice. I uh, I can't braid my hair on the screen right now, but I'll show you how <laughs> I braid these three raffia strings of different colors, <gasps> and we'll see. Jingming, look. <gasps> oh, I see. A little... I see a girl dancing. 
I want to say I see a little boy. I see a uh, little. Kid it can be both. Child. Yes. I see a little child who's like waving into the air, and the green one is like a genie, or whooshing out. Ang- yeah, that just whooshed out, and the child is a, a little bit shocked. Like, <gasps> like what just happened? <laughs> what is this? Oh, yes. And maybe it's in the desert because of. The yellow that's in the mm. background, Ooh. or maybe just oh, somewhere with a lot of sand. I see it. I see it. It's sand. like it's like a pyramid. Do you see it? Yeah. Or a like sand dune. Hmm. Mm. That. Let me try to add one more color, which is the blue color, and then I'll start drawing again. Okay. So usually how I break is you have three different strands. I mean, you can always use two, two, two instead. So I was using one first. Ooh, Someone a girl said touching a, girl. Gi- a giant <laughs> hand. I can also see it as um, a giant's leg. Like the the giant is stomp, stomp. Yeah, stomp, it's going to stomp. accidentally stomp on the girl. So we're like, oh no, <laughs> like stopping it. Okay, let's try putting my book again. Okay. One, okay. two, three. Let's see. Ooh, let's see. Whoa. <gasps> so what, what I've been doing is that I've been using the same uh, piece of green yarn. Now Ooh. it looks more like brown. But because of if all the colours that actually, mixed yeah, together. Yeah, you can see. It mixed everything together. Ooh. Hafiza, why yeah. not you try making knots on your string? Mm. And then... Doing the I want to try something different. Maybe I can put different things on my string instead yeah. of knots. Let, sure. let me see. What can I do? What can okay. I do? So for the rest while watching, um, I can also do, I can also braid. You can also braid your strings. So you can do like a very long braid and you can use it for bracelet. Or you can use it for... Oh, I have a very cool idea. So you can also use it to decorate things like these. Like, uh, this is a plastic cup where I put all my um, markers. I also have a lot of straws from our previous sessions <laughs> and for our future sessions. So what you can also do is you can use the strings to create little like patterns on, on this cup. And then you can use it to put your stuff and yeah, so it's very decorative. Than, yeah, and other than um, braiding, you can also do twisting it. Like if I twist this, you can see that there's different colors that come out. Okay, yeah, there's different colors that come out as well. And yeah, you can also do knots like what Happy says it. So I'm just gonna knot, tie a knot over here, and I have a knot. For the green and the pink. Yeah. So I just made like a very quick little pom pom. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. So okay. this is like oh oh my gosh. It looks like a tree. Do you see it? <laughs> looks like a <laughs> palm like a tree. Coconut tree. Yeah. <laughs> or a spider. Ooh. A spider crawling up the yeah. tree. <laughs> okay, let's Maybe see. Maybe the, the spider is going to save the girl from the giant. The She's giant. about to get crushed from the gi- by the giant. No. So if you, yeah, for me, like, I try to just play around with different knots. So if I were to knot these two together, and then I knot another two strings and things like that. So you can go on and on, and you can create your own pattern with this as well. Like, see what you come up with, other than braiding it. So braiding it is just one way. So, yeah, people have done this. Um, quite a lot with like macrame and things like that, but macrame uses like yarn. Am I right, Hafiza? Um, usually. yes, yes, and like usually rope. with yarn or or rope. But you can definitely try with using other materials. You never know what turns out. How can I save my my uh, character from the big giant? Maybe the giant <gasps> is not that evil. Maybe the giant just can't see her or him. Yeah, maybe we make a really big pair of glasses <gasps> glasses <laughs> so like okay, the giant see, can see. look down and see i'm gonna try and create glasses with them. let's see if let's i can see. um 
find out what I can save her with. with my string up. I'm gonna try and make a pair of glasses for Lisa as well. My, ooh, maybe the string can determine what shape the glasses are. Oops, I almost. Be careful! I almost cut myself. <laughs> maybe we have glasses of different shapes. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what we can do over here. Let's pull my paper again. I really like this. Oh. Yeah, I loved it. Try. I love it. Let's okay. try. So this is what is going to save my character. Okay, let's see. This pom-pom <laughs> invention. So it's going to go here. Maybe I'll just get some yellow. And I'll just put it down here. My favorite hmm. color is yellow. Like it, Ooh. Yeah, because it reminds me of sunshine and, and happiness. I think because of the way we twirl our strings, it always comes out as a circle. <laughs> so I'm trying to like change the shape of it. And see if it's Ooh, okay, I have a good I have a very interesting idea. We have yeah, let's see. we can have Was it? Um Okay. I'm going to do can you imagine like your giant has these two glasses and with the glasses, there's a small <laughs> magnifying glass at the at the corner. So then it can look all the way down with the magnifying glass and you will see the little girl and he's not gonna step on the little girl anymore. <laughs> and or maybe this could be a hat as well. So instead of like a um instead of like glasses, it's actually a hat. Ching Ming. This is what <gasps> is going to save the girl. Ooh. I wonder what it is. I think it looks like a... Hmm. Me, it looks like... What does uh, everyone... Ooh! 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 <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what if it's like really gigantic shoes that can protect the tiny people? <gasps> Giant <laughs> shoes. It, it has tiny people radars everywhere. It's just, so tiny it will people turn radars. Red. Yeah, so it will turn red, whatever. Right. Beep, 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 beep. Um, yeah. So it's like this. And she's like, no! And it turns red. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yes. How would the giant's feet look like? Oh, there's a butterfly. Yeah. Maybe so the butterfly can come in to swoop in. Mm -hmm. And pick the little girl up before the giant accepts these steps on her. <gasps> that could be one idea as well. Okay, guys. We only have a few minutes. We have like three minutes left. Okay. So before oh, we go, how's everyone doing? Oh, the person has yellow legs. You have a the giant has yellow legs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So before we go, I just wanted you guys to, yeah, to maybe we'll do a little recap for Hafiza's drawing. So we have basically we experimented with what happens when you throw string on the table, <laughs> or on any plain surface and think of what it looks like and, and this uh, is yeah. what we drew before <laughs> we drew a girl sitting on a chair reading mm -hmm. a book um yeah. a, a ship a snake with a man on top yeah i had a guitar and a and a dragon <laughs> and a dragon so uh, we also explored with using plastic sheet so you can put it over and draw it, draw over it or you can also have paper below it then you draw on the paper so there's two ways you guys can do it as well mm -hmm. um yeah and also we wanted to experiment with looking at things from far or we can cover up everything and we just focus on one small part and you can cut out shapes to use it as to block out the rest of the parts or you can do doesn't have to be a circle doesn't have to be an oval it can be any shape that you want or you can just cut out a little frame like what I've done with just paper and just focus on this part. Yeah. And Hafiza has shown us what you can do with it looks like a lion. <laughs> it can be anything. That's why I have yes. a frame. Yes. So the good thing about having that frame is the plastic one is you can draw over and over again. You can add on to the image as well. 
And yes, so Hafiza, what Hafiza did was she put paint on her string and she put two pieces of paper against it and she pulled. Or you can fold the paper in half and she pulled. And it gave her different patterns like this. So we made a little story just now with, um, yeah, the little girl is being stomped by, almost getting stomped by the giant. But then we made a, um, a tiny people shoe detector. Yes, and it could also be a butterfly that is swooping in to save a little girl before it happens. Alright, thank you guys for joining us and have a good day. Bye!